Hey guys, we're Zach and Allie, and we've been traveling in a van now for three years with our pup Marley. We like to call her Daisy. The van that is. We're gonna start sharing our stories here on YouTube, but we thought it was only fair to give you guys a tour of the van. Hey, Let's go see inside. Darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Come on in! Pack our bags and get in that car So we put our stove here We decided we liked the wind blowing through and that way it doesn't get too hot in the van We can cook with the door wide open and I love to be able to look out and see the world and what's going on outside Also we have our sticker wall some of them are kind of falling off, but it works. It's a memory that counts. We also have our propane box here outside. We do store a little bit of odds and ends in there as well. It's easy to get to. That way we can refill, very simple, very tiny propane. It usually lasts us for three months or so. I have my baskets here. So I like to do fruits and veggies out here. Sometimes I'll throw some bread or something, but fruits and veggies mainly and the almighty hand sanitizer. <laughs> so for the moment we have our toilet here. It is a Dometic five gallon toilet. And I cover it up with the blanket. Marley's bed doubles as a couch and underneath we have lots of different storage. Um, but we'll show you that in just a bit because that's our battery. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. All right, guys, so our van is powered by a 200 amp hour gel battery by Renogy, and that powers all of our DC components um, the lights, the fans, our water pump, things like that. And then for the AC side of it, we have a 250 um, watt Ames power inverter. Um, that supplies power to all the outlets. We have three ways of charging the battery. Um, we can charge through the inverter through shore power. We also have a smart battery isolator connected to the alternator so it'll charge when we're driving. And then we also have 200 watts of solar on the roof which goes through this charge controller. We have overhead cabinets along this wall here. Uh, in the first cabinet, I usually store medicines, towels, um, washcloths, things like that. And in the second one, baskets full of stuff. I love to be organized, so I feel like this is the best way to do it. Stay super organized. Um, electronics, I call this my office box because I have everything office in it. And then I have my hair stuff because I am a girl and I do like to look pretty sometimes. So <laughs> hair dryers and hair things in there. This overhead storage. One big thing that's up here is my most favorite road atlas. I love this road atlas, it's huge. Um, and then I also store a yoga mat up there and some filing, it's a filing system. We also have a basket full of all of our, uh, one of our buck screen actually that we put up and our beanies and things like that. Um, and then our sunshades. Our sunshades came from a company called High End Motorsports. They were decently priced and in the beginning we knew we were going to have to have some sort of way to cover up all of the windows while traveling with our dog. Okay, so we have this overhead cabinet here. Uh, as you see, lots of fun customizations. We do all of our toiletry stuff in these two baskets. I also most definitely some bug spray and sunscreens. Moving down to the sink, I love my sink. We actually got it from Home Depot, I believe, as well as the faucet. It swivels, I love that it swivels. It's large enough to where I can literally put my head in there and wash my hair. And it has a nice little mechanism. Also, I love this because, you know, most people have hand soap and to have hand soap and dish soap and then figure out where to store it, it's nice to have just an option to, you know, have it situated there. Because uh, everything on the counters must go in the sink when we're driving. 
the water from the sink drains to our gray tank here. It's a seven gallon gray tank and we empty it by simply unscrewing this with a cap that we put on the edge here. That way no water leaks through. Up. And then we pull it out and dump it like so. When we turn off our water from the outside, we also have a way to hook up to um, city water or well water, however they have it, just by turning this to the right or to the left, cuts it off and on. And then the water from our tank in the back, this is our pump, it's our 12 volt pump. And also by the little knob here on the back side, we turn left and right in order to switch from um, city water to our fresh tank water. And we converted it by using this piping system and this little mechanism here for catching all the nasties. Um, I definitely recommend cleaning this once a month at least because it gets kind of stinky if not. Holds a little bit of water here. But other than that, the drain has worked amazing and we love it. Uh, on the door here, I like to store, I made this little plastic bag holder because as much as I can't stand plastic bags, I would rather utilize them than just throw them in the trash. Um, so we have this, we have our cast iron brush cleaner because we really only travel with cast irons. They're super easy to clean. You can cook on the fire with them inside. Doesn't matter what you do. Um, my toilet brush cleaner and fly swatter. Just some odds and ends here. So we actually bought this stove back in 2017 when we were living in our very first van. Um, it is a blind stove, um, meant to be used outside actually, but it has a little heat shield. I'll pop this open. It has a heat shield on the bottom here and the propane runs behind. We have an assortment of food down here, but the propane runs behind the food and into our box that we showed earlier. So we don't have any issues with anything heating up down here or we don't have any issues with really any leaks down here because this heat shield tends to catch all of that. Um, then as you can see below here, we have my pantry. That part of my pantry, this is half of it. I do have more somewhere else. Um, and Marley's dog treats and things like that. Um, also below here, we have this tiny cubby. Originally we, made this area to put an oven and then we opted out of the oven because personally there's three of us in this van and I enjoy having the extra space and not having to go grocery shopping every three days so we can go boondocking and last ourselves for a couple of weeks off of this stuff. Um, and then we have our cabinet. So this is where all of our cooking needs go. And it's nice because it locks, so while we're traveling the mountains and going, curvy, going down curvy roads, it doesn't matter, nothing flies out of here. Honestly, this one little bungee keeps that, and the one lock keeps this door closed. Also here in the kitchen, we have a spice rack, and we do a lot of cooking. We actually don't really go out and eat pretty much at all, um, maybe once a week or so. So, as you can see, I have all of my spices, and they're doubled back there. Um, Sometimes they turn into missiles when we're driving. Yeah. Watch out, Marley. Here come the spices. Also, for safety, it's always a good idea to carry a fire extinguisher. We keep ours right here. Super easy to get to and grab. Never know when you're going to need it. So, moving on to this side of the kitchen. Um, we actually have drawers that Zach had to make especially for me because we needed to angle this so we could have more space here. So we have three basically cooking utensils and knives and things of that nature. And this bottom cabinet here is where we store our trash can and it's just a mini trash can. Um, up here on the counter, I do like to keep a basket of goodies. Actually, how we get this to stay is so funny. It's really just a command hook on the back side and they're hooked to the wall and it just slides right in and we have never had any issues with this falling off. It stays up here all the time. Um, it's where we keep our tea, our honey, our coffee, our oils, things like that. We have our cabinets up here. We have one cabinet for plates and dishes because there's only two of us, so there's no need to have any more. Um, on this side here, I have another pantry 
full of lots of goodies and I do store a few Tupperwares. This is pretty much the only Tupperware we keep. Moving down here to the fridge. Our fridge, hmm, what to say about our fridge? We like to eat. We do like to eat. We keep this thing stocked full. So what's in here right now will probably last us two weeks. Um, uh, randomly, I have to go get a couple more fruits and vegetables. Um, I do randomly need to go buy more meats and things like that. <sighs> you can see we like to stay stocked. Um, recently we have added on and we did canned goods. Um, all of our canned goods, basically we can fit seven per shelf. Uh, we keep bread on the top shelf normally, unless we have too many canned goods and I really love this little area because it kind of does, you know, cans take up so much space. It doesn't really take up that much space. And I love that. It's kind of a little nook for us. This is our light switch. I love this light switch. Occasionally we've had a few issues with it, but it really works well. So it's touch screen off on, you can go up and down with the dims. And then also it dims like this as well. Moving back to the bedroom, <laughs> we like to call it. Um, here in the bottom is where we have all of our drawers. So they're pretty packed full. They're huge and they go all the way to the back. So as you can see, I can store pretty much all of my clothes. Um, our whole game plan was to not have to travel back anywhere to pick up any winter or summer clothes. So we carry all of our winter and summer clothes here in the van with us. And this bottom cubby down here, I love to create. So all of my creative stuff goes down there. And I just keep them in Tupperwares, little bins, easy to slide in and out. out of a shower and I wanted a closet so my closet here have to have a tall mirror that's a have to a must um, this is also I painted this with chalkboard paint so as you can see this is kind of wearing off but I like to put new quotes up there randomly um, take things down here all of our hang-up clothes is in here we have a lot of clothes also <laughs> Um, up here on this top shelf, all of my essential oils, Marley's medicines, Q-tips, things like that. Down here in the bottom of the closet, we actually built it so it would go back a little bit further than the closet actually is. And our laundry bin fits in here. Um, and we have other cleaning products and this is basically laundry supplies and things like that. Down here in the bottom, is where we keep all of our shower stuff and we each have a bag that we pack and take to the shower with us every time and bring them in mop because i'm a clean freak and i have to sweep and mop pretty much every single day <laughs> On the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two. So behind the door here, we tried to utilize as, utilize as much storage as we possibly could. Um, we actually just have a piece of Luan here, and this is beach fencing we found in Louisiana. So I wanted to hang my scratch off map, places we've been. Um, we also have this little cubby up here, and we built this little rack for hanging hats and other goodies when we come in and we use this as storage for the rest of our hats. Hey darling, you know we're gonna have a really good time. Welcome to the bedroom. This is a full-size memory foam mattress and it hangs off just a bit here on the edge but it fits perfectly front to back here. Um, any taller than Zach and I feel like you probably wouldn't be able to lay this direction, but it works perfectly for us. Over here on the wall we do have a small TV because we travel for work sometimes too, so it's nice to have a little bit of a luxury. Um, we were gifted an Alexa 
and an Apple TV as well. So that's basically how we get, how we watch TV when we're traveling. On this side over here, we have a our hotspot for our Wi-Fi for when we're traveling and we need internet. Our bookshelf, and this is actually the remote to our heater, which we don't need right now, as you can tell. Um, I also have a little nightlight lamp because I like to do things while Zach is sleeping sometimes and it just makes it easier that not to have the bright lights on over his head. Um, I do have a little bit of a fan here because it's also nice to have airflow on your heads. And then we have our light switch back here. It is not a dimmer, it's just an on and off. So click it on. We also have our max air fan here. Unlike our front fan, which is a little bit different, our front fan is a fantastic fan and it does not have the rain shield on it. So we have to like crack it open, but usually we don't even have to put this fan on. It was 75 degrees in here last night. Um, and we had that fan, we have a box fan for Marley and that one was sucking out and it just, it felt perfect. And moving on to the garage area, we like to call it the garage because it's sort of all of our tools and all of our different things that we use for outside. Beach um, stuff. Beach, yeah, beach things and all that kind of goodness. Looks awfully packed full, but I promise you everything's fairly easy to get to back here. So here on the back door of the van, you actually can't see this from inside. The only thing inside you can see is the window we have here. And you can see we have curtains, which work nicely. They're blackouts. Um, we decided to use a shoe rack for storage because we like to travel with random things like snorkels. Um, we have paracord, flashlights, first aid kits, um, zip ties because you always need zip ties, uh, things of that nature. And this works perfectly for storing those little odds and ends that you want to get to all the time and you don't know where to put. As we mentioned earlier, we have a fresh tank and our fresh tank is back here in our garage, as we like to call it. We refill it by unscrewing this here. We have about 10 gallons of fresh water that we can use and our pipes run through to the sink where our 12 volt pump pumps are, gives us water pressure. All right guys, for shore power, we just plug in right here. Simple as that. We also made this little rain guard because it kept raining onto our plug. It's kind of kind of homemade, but and then the water. We have this nifty little quick connect. Just like that. Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright. When connecting to city water, we use a shrinking water hose that we bought from Walmart in order to save space and a charcoal water filter. Also, one of our most recent and most probably favorite purchases that we've done is our awning that we have here. It's an 8x8. Eight eight. What brand name is it? Deshell. 8x8 eight eight Deshell. Um, and it's actually meant for, I guess, uh, cars or Jeeps or things like that. So we have to stand on like a ladder to zip it up, or not even a ladder really, just stand on a cooler to get up, roll it up and zip it up. But it's very simple. We actually can pull it out and set it up in less than five minutes. I love it when it's me and you On the road with a couple of tunes and a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Get out, we can leave this 
the city and strive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now 